Assalamualaikum Ramadan Mubarak. This is our second craft or third craft, depending on which week it's airing. Um, we're going to actually make a Ramadan banner. And as you can see over here, let's. And in your pack, here's a Ramadan banner we're, get, we're going to make today. So in your pack, you should receive three sheets of cardstock. You can see here, one is a white sheet where you have the words Ramadan, R A M. Uh, all the letters and then two other sheets um, they could be either the same or different colors and these will have eight arches we only need seven of them which will be the banners yeah and then we're going to cut these out and that will be in your pack and then additionally you also need crayons markers paints whatever you like to use to color in the text you also need will um, need a glue stick. We recommend a stick, uh, a pair of scissors to cut your design out, and a punch. Now I have a single hole punch, but a normal regular punch for um, letters is fine. With the three or two holes will work. Um, okay, so Ayana is going to be doing a craft today. So uh, over to you, Ayana. Um, okay. <clears throat> so for the letters. I chose to do a starry theme to, to color in my banner. Um, so I've colored in one here as an example, uh, which I'll show you how to do on this letter if you wanted to copy. Uh, so these are the colors that I'm using, the yellow for the stars and the blue for the uh, background. Um, so it's fairly easy. You just draw in the little star shapes wherever you wanna put them and little circles for smaller stars, which I'll dot around. And this is using my lightest yellow color. And then I'll go back in with a darker color. And you don't have to copy exactly how I'm doing this. This is just an example to see a different way you can color um, and get creative with your text. Yeah, like the one you see above, that's just a, a solid color. Um, you can do stripes, you can pretty much do any design that you, you like. Yeah. And then you're, you're giving it a lot of dimensions by using the different uh, shades. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go on with blue and double the thickness of the line because I wanna give it a glowing effect. I chose to do stars because Ramadan is kind of I guess whimsical in a way. Uh, and I think the stars will fit better with my theme because I am using blue paper for my background. Okay. okay, so I've done this. And I'll outline all of these with a slightly darker color of blue. You can also do it the other way, can't you? By just coloring in the letters and the border and leaving the inside white. Yep. So yeah. it's really up to each individual how they want to um, design their banner. Yeah, you can design it however you want. Mm -hmm. I'm going to color in the inside. Yes. So if you've got a really steady hand, you can even paint it with acrylic paints. Yeah. Uh, um, I think markers would probably be the easiest. Whatever you have available. Okay. So I'm just coloring all of this in. Uh, so you're going around the outline first. Does that help? Yeah. It helps keep. Uh, keep my coloring steady. Okay. There we go. Yeah, so all, all of my letters look exactly like this. Um, but you don't have to do that. You can make them multicolored. You can do each letter can be a different yeah, color. Just like up here. Well, we I we alternated this one, um, but if you want, you can even make the R one color, A a different color, etc. You can do all the colors of the rainbow. Um, 
and you can do it as you can design it how you like it's yeah. your creation oh, you're nearly done so you want to go ahead and and do it to all of the letters you can do it the same or you can do it differently yes mm. right, nearly done it looks really good very steady hand okay yeah. So while I'm coloring this, we also um, you also need to have these cut out. Um, the arches. Yeah. Yes. Just so we have them ready when we're done coloring. Okay. Well, maybe done. Okay, so what do we do once you finish coloring? What's the next step you are? Okay. So this is what I had. Um, so once that I've finished coloring, I'm going to take my banner pieces and lay them out um, in the way I want to. So I've already glued in the rest of the letters over here. Um, and you can kind of see the steps that we're going to take already. So I'm going to grab my glue stick um, and start gluing in my letters uh, so wanna, onto the banner. So we're going to glue on the back side of the text. Yeah. The side you didn't cut. And then carefully place that. Mm -hmm. Nice. OK. So I decided I had two different colors, and I decided I wanted to alternate them for the banner. Okay, there you go. just like that. So as you can see with um, with this banner, we need to somewhere for the string to pass through all the letters. So what I've done is I've taken my hole punch and I've put in a hole in the corners. So I put it just a little bit inside, um, a few millimeters in, through the, the paper just so there's still space over here so it stays strong. Oh, I'll do this on the other side, just like that. And then on this letter. So now that I've gotten all of my letters hole punched, I'll take the ribbon that you were given and we're going to feed it through all of the letters. We'll start at the end. Yeah, so I'll start at one end, pull it through, and then push it through the other side, just like this. So the, uh, the ribbon will kind of snake through all the holes. So I'm going to start behind, come forward, and then push it back again, just like this. Oh, very nice. Okay. So, through the hole, over, and to the back. So as I go along, I'm gonna push my letters down so there's space on the banner. Okay. Just like this. And then the last letter. Okay. So I'm going to leave some extra room on the sides so I can hang it up later and also 
I have room to curl the ends. Um, so I'm going to trim this end really okay. carefully. So yep. this to curl the ends, you might need a help of uh, an adult because it's a little tricky. So I'm going to take my scissors, kind of hold it, um, and angle it against, like uh, just like this, and I'll pull. Oh, you get nice little curls. Mm -hmm. And you get some curls. So I'll keep doing this. That, that one wasn't very good. Take the view. Yeah, I know. Just oh, like that. That's nice. Same with the other side. There you go. Starting to get all curly. And there you have it. Your yeah. Ramadan banner. Yeah, you can put it up on the wall. You can use little um, thumb packs. Or you can tie it around something yep. and hang it up. Cut in your wall by your fireplace. Yeah. There you go. A little Ramadan banner. Very nice. <laughs> well, thank you very thank you everyone for joining us for our Ramadan craft. Mm -hmm.